everyone hope you're not too cold today we're going to share a story called it's the bear have a look at the front of it hmm, what do we think it's going to be about how many bears can you see are they both the same type of bear hmm. i wonder what might happen it's the bear Eddie doesn't want to come and picnic in the woods with Mum. I'm scared, he said, about the bear, the great big bear that lives in there. A bear, said Mum. That's silly, dear. We don't get great big bears around here. There's just you and me and your Teddy Freddy. Now, let's all get the picnic ready. Can you see anything? Hmm. I think they are all alone at the moment. There's no bears I can spot. We've got lettuce, tomatoes, creamy cheese spread with hard boiled eggs and crusty brown bread. There's orange juice, biscuits, some crisps and oh my, I've forgotten to pack the blueberry pie. Oh dear. I wonder what you'd have at your picnic. Would you have lettuce and tomatoes? Would you have hard boiled eggs? Would you have blueberry pie if you remembered it? I'll pop back and get it. She said won't be long, but mum, gasped Eddie. Too late. She had gone. Oh no. How do we think Eddie might be feeling right now? Do you think he's feeling happy and safe being on his own in the woods? I don't think so either. Oh dear. Do you think it was right for mummy to leave him in the woods? I don't think so either. <gasps> I wonder what will happen now. He sat on the hamper, which is like the box that you carry a picnic in. He sat on the hamper and tried not to cry. Then, I can smell food, yelled a voice from nearby. It's the bear, cried Eddie. Where can I hide? Then he opened the hamper and clambered inside. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Out of the trees stepped a big hungry bear, licking his lips and sniffing the air. <sniffs> a teddy bear's picnic, he bellowed. Hooray! Help, whispered Eddie. He's coming this way. <gasps> oh. Hi, Boba. Boba was excited to hear this story. He cuddled his teddy. He huddled and hid. Then a great big bear bottom sat down on the lid. Oh no. Oh, I think he might be a bit stuck now. The bear munched and he crunched and he chopped and he chewed and he greedily gobbled up all of the food. Oh no, where's Eddie? Now, what's for dessert? said the bear. Let me see. Oh please, whimpered Eddie. Don't let it be me. Don't let him see me. Don't let him come. shouted Eddie. Oh dear. Oh, can you see their faces? Do you think that Eddie and the bear might be feeling the same way? I want my mum. Eddie, I'm coming, called mum. Are you hurt? It's the bear, cried Eddie. He thinks I'm dessert. A bear, said Mum. I told you, my dear, 
Your Freddy's the only bear around here. Oh no. Mum, can we tell Mum we need to watch out? Watch out, Mum! No, he's not! screamed Eddie. Behind you, it's there! Don't be silly, said Mum. There can't be. There just can't be. There isn't. A bear! I told you, cried Eddie. Run, shouted Mum. Mm, blueberry pie, said the bear. I love it. Yum, yum. Bear got everything he wanted, didn't he? He got all of the food and all of the dessert. Poor Eddie and Mum didn't get anything. Ooh, that was quite an adventure for Eddie and Mum, wasn't it? I wonder if you'd believe it. Oh, Boba, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? Say, bye bye. I promise not to eat my blueberry pie. Bye, everyone.